Hey guys, it's Marcy from Heathers and Hops. I wanted to do a comparison today of two strollers that um, are definitely direct competitors for each other. The Valco Snap Ultra Trend and the Upper Baby Cruise. So there's been extensive reviews of both of these strollers. I'm not going to review them necessarily, but I am going to compare and contrast features that one has that the other doesn't and vice versa. So um, I wanted to say right off the bat that this is actually a 2012 Cruise. So the wheels are smaller in the back and the front. I think on the new stroller, the newer version, they're maybe like an inch bigger in the back and maybe half an inch bigger in the front. So while the wheel comparisons aren't the same uh, or not you know, totally comparable, the frame sizes are. So when you're looking at here, it's pretty much the same frame size on both of these strollers. So in terms of size, you're basically getting the exact same thing. And I think that that's really important to note. The other thing that's important to note is that because this is a 2012 version, it's got the suspension in the back. Um, so the push is significantly different. Uh, and I think better than the new version. And the Valco does not have suspension, but I don't think that the push suffers because of that. So I'll get into that a little bit more later, but just right off the bat, know that this is the older model. Um, and there are some differences with the newer model, but I'm sure most of you already know that if you're watching this video. So like I said, the strollers are pretty much the same size frame. Um, I do have the upper baby seat fully upright at this point and the Valco seat fully upright at this point. I will say that the upper baby seat is more upright and I don't know if you can see that easily but um, it is more upright so this is pretty much completely straight up. The Valco does have a little bit of a recline but my toddler's really picky about seats and how reclined they are and she doesn't have a problem with this and I honestly don't know um, what toddler wants to sit perfectly upright anyway. So there's that. But anyway, the reason I'm pointing that out is because I want you to see the difference in the sunshade. So these are both fully upright. This is the newer cruise canopy that has the updated sun fabric. So it's not the old one. So this is as much as it goes. And with the Valco Snap Ultra Trend, with all of it fully extended, that is how much coverage you're getting sun, sun coverage wise. So you can definitely see that the Valco offers more coverage. Um, in terms of measurements, at least a few inches. At least a few inches there. And then when the seats are fully reclined, if you have a young infant in there, by the way, the upper baby has a one-handed lever recline, so it can click into various places. That's as much as it goes. Whereas the uh, Snap Ultra has that infinite climb the strap so it can go you can stop it anywhere it doesn't have to necessarily be um, at a specific point all right I'm going to show you the difference in the reclines in a second in more detail but just so you can see here I can make a little makeshift bassinet here and this kind of like this and um, that's the coverage so you can see how much more coverage you're getting in the Valco now the seats are also completely, completely different. So let's take a look at this. When these seats are reclined, uh, the upper baby has what I like to call, or what I think is called an L-shaped seat. So it's flat in here, but the seat part where the child puts her, her um, bottom is always going to be uh, perp uh, perpendicular to it. So it's not totally flat. Whereas in the Valco, you've got all of this flat space like this for the child to stretch out. You can put the footrest completely parallel to the ground. You can't do that with the cruise. So if you want to use the cruise with a little newborn, you have to use the snug seat in here. Whereas the um, Valco is completely newborn compatible right from the get go, which I really appreciate. So I don't really like the fact that the cruise has just two settings like you can put this up there like like that or like that and that's all you've got on the Valco you can do also when you put the footrest up you have to push the buttons in order to lift it you can't just do it with one hand Valco you can you can go like that and then to put it down you just go like that so it's really smooth so you've got a lot more option uh, with the Valco footrest and the seat I think but just so you know if you've got a newborn in here and you fully recline the seats, there's your little bassinet. So my baby was pretty big, my second baby, and he was not ever really comfortable in the upper baby seat um, when I would put him down for a nap. But in the Valco, he would fall asleep because 
he was able to stretch out so much. He just loves to kind of go everywhere. So this was much more comfortable for him. And I do feel like the seat is cushier as well. Um, while we're talking about the seat, let's talk about the fabrics for a second. Uh, just a side note, I spilled coffee all over this footrest today when we were out at the farmer's market. And I it just beat it up and I took a baby wipe and I just went like that and it was gone. If any of you have owned an Uppa Baby or know anything about Uppa Baby, you know that the fabric can stain really easily and it's one of those strollers that you have to take the fabric off and wash it every so often to take care, to keep it looking good. It's kind of a pain in the neck. I hate it because um, I'm really lazy about it. So I really enjoy the fact that with the Valco, because of the way that the fabric is, by the way, it's really soft, nice fabric too, but it just, stains just beat up, I can wipe it away and it's over with, it's done. If I spill water on this, it makes like a little watermark stain on the cruise. So that's kind of annoying. So the Upper Baby does have an enormous peekaboo window. It's magnetic, just like the Snap Ultra Trend, but it's much bigger. So you can see that really big peekaboo window. You can toggle it closed here. So if the seat is all, all reclined, in, like when you have a little baby, you can lift that up so you can see the baby in there. All right. So you do have that view of your baby, which you also have on the trend. So if I recline my seat all the way, I've got that huge window here. I can toggle this pocket back up here so this whole thing is open. Plus I have this ventilation up in the peekaboo window as well. So they've got ventilation from two different places. Whereas in your upper baby, you've got it just in this one place for what that's worth. Handlebars are adjustable on both. Upper baby is a telescopic one-handed um, uh, adjustment. So I just pull out like that. I there were three. One, two, three. Like that, like that. And the Valco, there's also three. It can go down like this. So it's kind of like flat, parallel with the ground a bit. So you can go, and that's uh, 39 and a half inches. And then you've got 42, and then you've got 43 and a half. So I do prefer the telescopic, not gonna lie. I really do. I think it's easier. Um, it just makes more sense, especially when you've got a kid on a, you know, on a board on the back. It just makes it have them have more room here. So I do like that. But you know, an adjustable handle is an adjustable handle. Um, on the back of the trend, you have a pocket on the back of the hood. So when your child is facing the world, you've got access to this pocket, which is really nice. On the upper baby, you have pockets in the basket. So you got one here and one here, no zippers, but you do have pockets there. Um, in terms of basket size, uh, they're about the same size basket, but I think that the upper babies is more accessible from the sides. Um, on the back of the upper baby though, however, you do have this bar here. So if I want to get my big diaper bag in here, I have to recline the seat to kind of get the butt out of the way and to get my bag in and out. So that's kind of annoying. On the Falco basket, there's no bar. Uh, on the back of the basket, there's a bar here, but not on the basket, so I can pull this down get my stuff in and out. I can, I do have some access on the side, but not nearly as much as the uh, upper, but I do have some. And on the front, there's netting here to prevent things from falling out because on my old stroller, uh, things did fall out in the front, which I, so I like that. And I can um, pull this down and get to what I need to get to. So I haven't really had too much of an issue with access. And I like the fact that my things are more protected in here. So, but in terms of size, I think they're pretty comparable. I think that you can get the same stuff in there. I have a huge diaper bag. If you've seen my videos, you know, and you know, I have, it has the exact same amount of space taken up in both baskets. So I don't really think that there's an issue with that. Um, but the one place where they, besides the um, fabrics and besides the footrest and all the stuff we talked about, the fold is completely different and I hate the cruise fold. I hate it. <laughs> so for one thing, you have to fold it with the seat um, world facing. You cannot fold it with the seat rear facing. So you put the canopy back, I'm just gonna remember how to do this now. Um, and then you put the brake on, you lift the two triggers and you go like this and it automatically locks. 
and then you can put the footrest, I think you put it down like this, and that makes it more compact. So um, not only is this just like, I have to bend down on the ground to do this, now in order to get it in my car, I have to bend down and I have to pick it up. The stroller's like 22, 23 pounds. It's not super heavy, but I don't like the fact that I have to bend down on the ground to get this. And it's not, and it's just bulky, like, it's just not an easy thing to kind of maneuver in my car. I really don't like that. So, um, not a huge fan of the Apple Baby Fold. And then it pops right up. If you've watched my videos, you know how much I love the fold on my Snap Ultra Trend. But um, I can fold it with the seat face in either direction. And for those of you who haven't seen this, I'll just do it really quickly for you. Put my canopy back, my brake on, one-handed fold, press the button, clasp here, walk it over, the seat's going to collapse, and I go like that, and I stand it up. And so when I put this in my car, I just kind of go like, boop, 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 boop. I don't have to get down on the ground at all, super easy. When I open it, I don't have to bend down on the ground. I just squeeze this, open this, open that, open that. So while there might be a little bit more steps to open it than this one, I think it's worth it for the more compact fold and the ease of folding it. And the last thing that I want to touch on, the brakes. So let's take a look at the brakes in the back. One step flip flop friendly brake on both, but the Cruise's design is horrible. When I've got my big diaper bag in here, in order to unlock the stroller, I have to push my bag out of the way to unlock it. And then I can go like that. It's annoying. I hate it. I don't know why that bothers me so much, but it does. Valco, I just go like that, like that. It's side to side. Much, much better. Sorry, one more thing. Push. So like I said before, this has the all-wheel suspension, the older model. The newer models, I believe, just have it in the front. And the Valco does not have any suspension. I don't know how Valco does it. I swear it's magic or something, but... Um, the push on this one is so much better. This was recently serviced by Upper Baby, by the way, the crew. So it's not like it's, you know, hasn't been oiled or greased or whatever. It was recently at Upper Baby. Yes, my wheels are old in the back, but they're brand new in the front. Um, I do need to replace these, but they still work. And um, I do have the suspension, so it uh, it's just it's just not a, as good of a push. This just glides wherever I am. And um, my toddler, who is very opinionated about which stroller she likes to ride in, pretty much cries if I put her in this one. So she really prefers the Valco. Um, I think that's all I wanted to go over today. So uh, for those of you who can't tell, I prefer the Snap Ultra Trend to the Upper Baby Cruise. It's lighter, it's more agile, there's better features, uh, it's a better fold, fabric is way better, better push, better brake, all around just a much, much, much better stroller. I'm really, really happy with my Valco, and I hope to use it for many years to come with lots of other children. I hope you guys like this video. Thanks for tuning in to Heathers and Hops, and uh, do yourself a favor, and don't even bother with Upper Baby. Just get yourself a Valco Snap Culture Trend. See you next time, guys.